Why do we get so mad when good things happen to other people? Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I'm going to talk to you guys some more about love. And there's a passage in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 where it talks about love. It says all these things that love is. And this passage is a really great way for us to kind of like check our hearts, you know? Like we can look at this list and we can say, is that how I am acting? Is that how I am loving? Because love is very important to God. The two greatest commandments tell us that we should love God and love others. And the question then becomes, you know, like, well, what does love look like exactly? Well, this passage, 1 Corinthians 13, it tells us what love is. And I'm making some videos on all the different things that this passage says love is. And one of the things that it says is that love does not envy. To envy means to be, like, jealous, right? To wish that you had something that someone else had. And the truth is that the love that God has called us to is true love, real love, godly love. And godly love is hard. It's not our first instinct. Our first instinct is to be selfish, not selfless. God wants us to be selfless. To love is to put someone else's needs above your own. You know, at my school, we do this raffle thing every year where you just, you don't even have to do anything. They just pick a name out of a hat and then you get this prize. It's just kind of a fun thing that they do. And usually the prize is, you know, kind of whatever. But last year, the prize was this awesome, huge, it was huge, this this building block set where it was like you could build a scene from one of my favorite movies. Oh, man, I, I wanted it so bad. And there's lots of kids in my school, and so, you know, it really was not likely that I was going to get it. But I thought, you know, maybe I would. Maybe how cool would it be if I got this thing? And sure enough, I didn't get it. But my friend Silas did. And, man, I don't know why, but when I heard his name called, I got mad. Like, I was, I was upset as if he had done something bad to me. And I love Silas. He's a great friend. But, but I, I was so mad at him for winning this set of building blocks that I wanted. And he was next to me, and he was so excited. And I, I, I tried to, you know, put on a smile. But I was furious at him for winning. And that, that's envy. It took me a while to realize what I was feeling. You know, in the moment, it's really hard to... It's hard to notice what you're feeling, but I, I realized later that, that that's how I felt. I felt envious of him. I was jealous of Silas winning this thing. And what Satan wants for you, the bad plan he has for you, is that you would look at what everybody else has and wish that you had that and not be happy with what you have and certainly not be happy for other people for having what they have. In that situation with you know Silas winning the thing, Godly love would have been to cheer with him, be excited with him and for him, and be so glad that this good thing happened to him instead of wishing that a good thing happened to me. And I don't know why, but it felt like, it felt worse that it was my friend who won, you know, almost like a betrayal. And it's not like he did anything. It's not like he took it from me. It wasn't mine. But it is so easy for us to feel that way. And if we're not careful, that sort of thing can ruin friendships. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would show love to your friends and your family and really everyone and not envy them for the good things in their lives, but instead celebrate with them. That's what true love looks like. That's what godly love looks like. And also on a side note, it's really important that we are, you know, grateful for what we have, right? God takes care of us. And we may not have all the stuff that other people have, but, but we have what God gave us. And he is so, so good to us. And happiness does not come from getting more stuff. Happiness comes from being grateful for what you have, whether you've got a lot or a little. And man, like I said, godly love is hard. It's not our first instinct. Our first instinct is to envy. But the Bible says that love is patient, love is kind, and love does not envy. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. And man, has that ever happened to you where something really good happened to, you know, a friend of yours or a family member or something really good and you just felt awful about it, man, it's really, it's really hard. It's a hard thing to, you know, kind of overcome the flesh. It's a hard thing to overcome some of our instincts. But that is the life that God has called us to. True love, godly love is hard work sometimes. And I hope that you'll use the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians as kind of a guide to help you see what love looks like. 
Godly love is a lot of work, but it is so worth it.